Well, I'm Mr. Palme with another video tonight. Uh, this one is the uh, first in a series on database SIM. I'll be looking at um, data structures as well and uh, file organization. But this one's a quick uh, whistle stop tour as an introduction to databases. So I'm jumping backwards and forwards with the spec in a way that I think is logical um, in order to go through database SIM. Okay. Uh, so again, for my students who still keep bugging me about music repeatedly, okay, here we go. The Roots featuring Erica Badu. You got me. Go watch that. So the big questions for this are basically why use databases and how is the power of databases actually leveraged in order to provide benefits to uh, users and organizations, all right? So first of all, why do we use databases? Obviously, we know that databases are used all around us in all sorts of applications within your mobile phone on a small scale for your contacts. On a larger scale with your mobile phone, the, the network provider maintains like a database of customers, mobile phone numbers, services that they're you know subscribing to, um, uh, transmission towers, and you know accounting purposes, call logs, all sorts of stuff. Okay, um, the police, yeah, your school, probably use SIM. Okay, so um, we're using those databases basically because it allows us to retrieve data quickly. We can update the data. We can filter it. Okay that allows the users within an organization to basically have the most up-to-date data in order to perform their job um, in a prompt fashion. Obviously, the quicker users, the companies can deliver services, the more money they earn, all right? Um, obviously, also, in terms of uh, organizations like the police, it's more about delivering services in a prompt manner to keep people safe. So you can see different... Um, uh, in different applications, there, there are different benefits of that prompt uh, service, okay? Also, another important thing that databases allow us to do is we can set user access rights. We can control who can do what with the data, and linked to that, we can basically set views of the data. So, the basic database structure is something like this. The entire, all your data is organized in a table, okay? This is a flat file database, so there is a single table, and a later video is going to look at the difference between flat file and relational databases. Uh, within the table, you have fields. They're, they're the column headings. They're the individual bits of data that we want to store. And then we have records, which is a group of related data about one particular object. Okay. So, for example, that record is the record belonging to Reg Vardy, who is a male, 15 years old, whatever it is. Okay. So, um, that, that's um, the basic database structure. This is a flat file database, single table. Okay. So, what is a database management system? Basically, a database management, a DBMS is a database management system. Um, it uh, manages the database for you and it allows you to do certain things. So one of the part of the responsibilities basically is that a DBMS allows the creation use of the database structure, which basically means it allows uh, the database designers to create tables, relationships between the tables, allows them to create queries in order to retrieve data, um, views, so they can show particular uh, sets of data and views of the data to particular users allows to create an interface um, for example database forms so you can fill in data and view data from there uh, it also creates outputs for example reports it maintains security so you can have access rights to data maintains referential integrity and there will be another video later on talking about that but that's basically about making sure that uh, when you have relationships within your data that you don't um, um, you know, create um, uh, gaps in the data that would make the data set inaccurate. Okay, and th there will be another video going later on when we do relational databases, actually explaining that in more detail. Okay, and then maintenance. So, for example, DBS will be responsible for backups um, and also for creating and maintaining indexes so that searches, for example, is when you're doing a query, can be performed quickly. All right, now. Um, Database views basically refers to the way that we can divide um, a database up, okay, in order to um, uh, to basically increase the power and flexibility with which we can use it, okay. So on the most basic level, we have the storage medium, we were talking about the physical level, okay. Then above that, we have the actual database tables themselves, which are stored on the storage medium and the database management system which is the, a layer of application which controls the access to the database, creating the tables, the queries, reports, etc., etc., as just discussed, okay? This is what we call the logical level, okay? 
you got the difference between physical level which and then you got the logical level which is the ideas and the concepts which are the more abstract level about the data and then finally you have the applications right at the top which is the user level okay so basically what am i talking about the physical view basically is the concern of the systems engineers initially and then the database management software and that's basically referring to how the data is being written onto the storage medium be it a hard disk ssd you know wherever, wherever that could be uh, back in the day written to tape okay uh then that's what the physical view is all about how is that data being written and it needs to be understood by the system engineers and the dbms to basically be ensure that the correct data is being written to the storage medium and read from it we don't want to pick up the wrong data or write incorrect data the logical view basically involves the construction of a data dictionary the data dictionary involves metadata okay which is the data about the data so the data dictionary contains data that explains what the tables are what the fields are what the data types are what the validation rules are um, what the relationships are um, you know descriptions of the queries and the reports and all of that kind of stuff based on that okay you'll be able to be uh, the the dbms will understand how the the database is organized in order to deliver functionality for the users and that basically is the top view which is concerned with the actual appearance and the functionality it prevents user interfaces presents user interfaces to the user which is appropriate for the view that they are supposed to have over the data okay and data access so what they can do with that data that they're looking at and actually what data they see is controlled by the DBMS so what does that mean basically all right uh, on the physical level you have the data stored how it is stored so it could be um, you could have a vertical partition database horizontally partition database you know it could be spread across different disks it could be spread across different locations around the world or different servers however the data is organized that's the physical level okay then you've got the the logical level where you've actually designed the database you've created the tables you've created the relationships okay and the data is being stored in the database you have access rights so certain people with particular logins can only see certain data or they can't see certain data or they can write certain data and they can delete certain data or maybe they can only see it but they can't read it uh, sorry they can only read it but they can't write okay or edit so you you different people will have different views of the data based, based on their job and then the top level of the application so for example in the supermarket you'd have checkouts okay you have the accounting you might have a mobile app that you have on your phone that you can use to do your grocery shopping to have delivered in your home all right so all of those checkouts and the accounting systems and the um, the stock management system and with the the mobile app they all are applications at the user level because there are people using these applications to perform whatever get out whatever functionality they need they need however all of those different people have different access rights the accountants may need to be able to see certain data that the user end user the shopper at home doesn't need to be able to see okay because the shopper just needs to be able to see maybe stock levels in their local store and the price of items and a picture of the item and a description yeah, the accountant might want to know more detail about how many have been sold what the buying price was the selling price etc 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 okay so the applications will present uh, the date the views that the user needs to see in a way that's easy for them to understand okay based on that you should be able to see that actually how dividing up a database into these different views and the different levels um, allows an organization to leverage the power of a database okay the other um, reason as well for um, splitting the database up is that you can make changes at one level without affecting levels um, above or below it okay because if the application was directly tied to the physical level then basically any change in the storage medium would affect the, the way the application was working and the application may stop working but because there's a separation we can change the way data is perhaps being stored on the disk even change the disk itself all right and the dbs dbms will handle the retrieving of data for those different applications and you can change applications without having to change the data and the way it's being stored all right so basically there we go you should understand why we use databases what the dbms does and how we leverage the power of databases by having by dividing up the um, the functionality into different levels okay in order to provide um sorry dividing up a database uh, into different levels in order to provide the specific functionality for um, specific people all right uh watch out for the next set of videos i believe will be on file organization